good evening. Uh, my name is Louis Wildman. Uh, the song I just played uh, by Edward Grieg is titled uh, Peasant Song. It reminds me of servant leadership, selfless leadership which serves the common good. Servant leadership is admirable so long as it's more than just compliance-oriented educational administration. Servant leadership should embody the elements of James McGregor Burns uh, defined as transformational leadership, a leadership which identifies the higher needs people may not know they have, leadership which develops the full potential of followers, and leadership which ultimately transforms both leader and led toward higher moral purposes. In a diverse society, we need the unifying role of public schools. Public education is one remaining sector in society that intends to facilitate the development of all, not just the rich, not just the poor, not just those who belong to a particular religion, race, or political party, but all. Every child should have a good opportunity to learn regardless of family background, income, or ethnic background. Some people have a hard time understanding public education because they can't fathom an institution where money is not the principal motivator. These market-oriented folks are not satisfied selling textbooks or floor polish to the public schools. They want to run the public schools based upon market-oriented principles. But education is not a business. Good school administrators consider the common good even at the cost of their own interests. In contrast, so many market-oriented folks despise government. They consider merely their own narrowly defined private interests and work to reduce taxes to increase the personal wealth and, and reduce school funding, forcing public schools to lay off staff and teachers. As a result, they are placing our self-governing democratic culture at risk. For the past 25 years, I have taught educational administration here at California State University, Bakersfield. I've tried to exemplify servant transformational leadership teaching concepts and ideas in behalf of the ideals of public education. I will try to summarize 10 of those ideals this evening. My purpose is to pass on those ideals to you in, to, in this small way, counter the powerful interests of billionaires and politicians who would privatize public education for political control and personal gain. I have begun each course I have taught with a list of my fundamental beliefs about educational administration. What I attempted was to first list my fundamental beliefs to inform students about where I was coming from so that they could form their own beliefs. I encouraged my seminar students and now you as well to think about what you believe. My first axiom is that I believe a public school curriculum should teach the liberal arts, not just math and language arts, but all of the liberal arts. Further, I believe that educational administrators should try to model the ideals of a liberal education, balancing their own lives among physical, intellectual, artistic, and spiritual activities. It is particularly easy, of course, to put off physical exercise. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bill and Miss, and I said, it's Mr. Yeah. Not Miss. <laughs> I want to introduce you to these fellows here. My good friend Lloyd Norwood, Thomas Richardson. We've been playing basketball out here at 7 a.m. every morning for the last 25 years. And we've had a good time, and this is what exercise is all about. Doing something good for your body, doing it regularly, every day, or at least five times a week or so. Having a good time, good fellowship, and uh, we've been, like I say, we've had a good time for 25 years, and uh, we've enjoyed ourselves. I, I adhere to that. It's over. <laughs> for me, participation in the fine arts involves music. To share some music, I have written, uh, chosen to perform three unaccompanied pieces on the marimba, originally written for the violin by Johann Sebastian Bach. Bach wrote in the midst of the Enlightenment and the German Reformation. Bach's music embodies profound belief which motivates the faithful leader and the age-old wisdom of the Orient that to fulfill our mission, we must first conquer ourselves.
profession should carry out in practice the values and ideals of a liberal edu arts education. More important than what we say is what we do. As the little poem by Rudyard Kipling goes, no written word nor spoken plea can teach young hearts what they should be, nor all the books upon the shelves, but what the teachers are themselves. <laughs> 